Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be going through the solution to exercise 4.2 from the C programming language textbook by Brian Koenigan and Dennis Ritchie. Now exercise 4.2 says to extend the a to f function to handle scientific notation in the form of 123.45e to the negative 6. Just to make sure we understand what this means, this e is an exponent, um, so it's times 10 to the power of negative 6. So this would be equivalent to 123.45 times 10 to the power of negative 6. Now, I have a small test in the main function just to test this, and this is the current implementation of a to f. Um, this is the implementation that is given in the book. I've just copied it. Okay. So in the book, we do our stuff and then we return. Before we return now, we should update the value. And we should now check if we have an E in our um, array. So I can say if the current character is equal to a lowercase e or the current character is equal to an uppercase E, then I should handle handle exponent. Okay, so what should I do? Well, I should now move on to the next character, so increment I, and now I should once again get the sign after E. Am I going to be doing like 10 to the power of negative 6 or positive 6? So I need to get the sign of the um, the exponent. So I'm going to reuse the sign that we had before. And I'm going to say, if it equals a negative, then have it as negative 1, otherwise as 1. And then I'm going to move over again. And then I'm going to have this exact check again. So I'm just going to copy and paste it. Okay, let me just add some white space. Mm -hmm. Actually, like this, yes. So here I check if there is a negative sign. If there is, I can assign this variable called sign a negative value. Otherwise, I can set it to 1. And then I have to check, well, did I even get a... Um, a sign. If I did, move over. And now I can begin my actual conversion. So what I want to do is I'm going to create an integer called the exponent. And then I'm going to try get the exponent. It's going to largely be the same as how we got the value for before. So I'm going to initialize it to zero. I'm going to say while it is a digit. And I'm going to say exponent. This is basically the same. Uh, 10 times the exponent plus the offset. Okay. And so now I've gotten the exponent in this new integer. And now what I need to do is I need to handle um, this, this exponent. So like, for example, if my exponent was 10, that means whatever my value is, I need to keep multiplying it by, uh, sorry, no. If my exponent was six, that means I need to multiply my value by 10, six times. If my exponent was negative six, that means I need to, I need to divide my value by, six, uh, by 10, six times. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say if the sign was positive, and I'll just add a comment handle positive exponent case and then this is what I can do I can say while my exponent is larger than zero and I'm going to decrement it and with it every time I decrement it I'm going to modify my value I'm going to say my value should equal my value times 10 I can clean this up a bit more I'm just going to use the assignment operator I'm going to say my value equals whatever my value is by 10. 
like that. And I cannot forget to decrement. And so what this does is it will repeatedly multiply my value by <coughs> by 10 and uh, exponent number of times. So if my exponent was six, uh, did I say divide? I meant multiply. So if my exponent was six, I'm just gonna keep multiplying by my value by 10, six times. Else, I'm gonna do the same thing, but instead of multiplying by 10, I need to divide by 10. And now I can return the value. Now I'm gonna do one more of this just to make sure it still works without that. And then I'm gonna do one where it's positive. And let's see. Oh, maybe I should add a new line to clean it up. And that looks good. So it still has the same value. This one's times 10 to the negative six. So if we just see one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, six places over. And this one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And so it works. Now that will be all for this video. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.